gonna perform an electric tankless water system flush. I got a, an electric uh, water system. It's the uh, Stevel Eltron. Oh, Tempra. I think it was a 2800 or Tempra 24 plus. It's got the two tank system. It's really good for my application, a rural farmhouse. Uh, anyhow, so the principle of it is you just take a bucket of water and I bought a submersible pump. So you'll need that submersible pump. And then you just stick the pump in the water. I think they ask generally for like a one-to-one -one application with vinegar. So I just use any type of vinegar. So I, I roughly put in a at least a quarter uh, of the jug. You're, you'll run it for about 30 minutes. So I think that's uh, here. I'll go a little bit more. So, yeah, you do this yearly or more, depending on your application. I have a pretty good system, pretty clean water that comes through my system. Uh, I've got it, uh, well, basically double filtered. I guess the water system, and then I got just a, a uh, house filter. Actually, she's pretty dirty right now, but anyway, so. At time of installation, I installed these uh, these closeout valves, um, so that you know that's particularly handy to do because if you just ran a straight pipe up, then it's pretty impossible to clean these things out. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer, then consider having these bypass valves. And what you'll do is you'll connect your one hose from the sump pump to the input line of your tankless which on mine is the cold obviously and so yeah i always just leave these hoses lying around down here for convenience and just ensure you got the uh washer on there so this will be the outlet line running back into the bucket and that just gets placed back into the bucket so try to do it so you know it won't fly out of there when it's in operation because I don't think you'll want to stand here for 30 minutes so just ensure all is good Okay, so you can turn your, because obviously the, the water is going to get heated up if you leave it at whatever it's set at on the thermostat. So on my application, I could turn it down so I could turn it off. So I'll run it off uh, for a little while and then I'll, I'll heat it up eventually. Okay, so as you see, what you do is you turn off the water system, crack open the valves. That's a little high in my bucket there, but I don't think that will be a problem. I'll give it a I'll give it a shot here. generally doing its thing right now so everything's good you got no leaks well, there you go so pretty much it's running in through the system through these two tanks cleaning them out they'll get uh, like a vertigray like you know how copper gets 
green and that vinegar oil solution will counteract and clean the inside of them cylinders and it comes back out through and back cycling through so I think the time right now is around two, uh, 3 30 let's see if I look on my system here it's 3 35 so around 4 4 15 depending I think this is pretty good I don't think my hose is going to fly out I wish I would have put it behind here though yeah so pretty much good to go so again uh, sump pump you can find at any hardware store I bought a uh, uh, one sixth horsepower submersible utility pump at our local uh, Canadian tire in Canada eh, you don't need anything bigger than that or you can need if there's a smaller pump you can grab that so yeah you just uh, run your submersible pump hook up your hose run it in to the cold in and hot out so right now if I was to stick my finger in there, I could do this actually. Let's see. So I could turn that up to. I don't know if it's any. Any sense to warm the water up. But right now, yeah. See, instantly I could feel that water in there getting uh, heated. So I don't know if the heated water helps on the water system clean out. Nah, yeah, we'll give it a. Give it a good, a good heat up. Yeah, she's rising fast there now. There, that's hot. Okay. And I'll leave her down to 103. All right. And that's it. I'll let that run for 30 minutes, and uh, we'll come back and we'll check that water out. Uh, actually, I can see already right along the edge of the of the uh, bucket I can see some of that corrosion coming off the water almost turns like a a greenish color upon doing that all right well, thanks for watching